everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to take you along on a me day because I think it is so important to take time for ourselves to recharge and reconnect. So let's dive into my day and let's journal together later. Now let's journal about the day's adventure. I'm using a Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee Traveler's Notebook with a 026 dot grid insert by the Traveler's Company. This is the insert that I use for memory keeping as it provides a perfect balance of structure and flexibility for creative documentation. And these are the supplies I'm planning to use. I'm not limited to only these materials but I like preparing them on the desk in advance and then just adding later on if needed. This preparation helps me streamline and be more focused on the creative process itself when journaling. I'm planning to create a collage on this page. When creating a collage, start with a focal point, like a main photo or ephemera, and build your layout around it. To start off, I have these photos that I can use and I'm cutting the logos of, of Coco Ichibanya and Pike's Coffee from the napkins. So as a memory keeping tip, save small items like napkins, tickets, receipts, or tags from your day because they make great authentic additions to your journal. Next, I'm tearing off a part of Coco Ichibanya's feedback form to paste on the upper part of her page. Now, 
now I'm playing with the photos of the food I ate, a shot of the restaurant, and the logo of the restaurant to decide on the layout. So as a collage tip, lay out your elements before gluing to experiment with different arrangements. I think I want to add a cute kawaii notepad on the lower part of her page. I chose this Pekka-chan notepad with a red border and face of Pekka-chan. the left part of the notepad, I'll add the photo of my time at Pike's Coffee. So when choosing photos to print, I suggest to include small details, like the book you were reading or the exact food you ordered. These details will help trigger more vivid memories later. I like using double-sided tape for photos cut into four tiny pieces to add in the corners. This method allows for easy repositioning and is more cost-effective than using full sheets of adhesive. Initially, I was only planning to create a one-page entry, but since I still have two receipts to add, I'll use the right page. As a memory-keeping tip, don't be afraid to expand your entry if you need more space. It's better to include all the details you want rather than trying to squeeze everything onto one page. Now I'm adding the receipts. There's a vacant spot on the upper right part, so I'll be adding this wide washi tape with colors that complement the rest of the materials we use. In collaging, you can use washi tape to fill blank spaces and add color to your layout without overwhelming it. Then for added accents, I'll be using clear stamps. These are the food and coffee themed stamps from Everyday Explorers. Theme specific stamps can help reinforce the mood or topic of your entry.
Next, I'll be adding this stamp with the words coffee and chill on top of a mustard yellow paper that color coordinates with our photo, logo, and washi tape. So as a tip, creating your own embellishments by stamping on colored paper adds a custom touch to your layout. Next, I'd like to add a coffee illustration to Pike's coffee official receipt. Adding illustrations to receipts or tickets is a great way to make these typically plain items more visually interesting in your journal. Using the same washi tape you used earlier, I'll be adding it to this vacant part on the left portion of the receipts. So in collaging, repeating elements like the same washi tape in different parts of your layout creates a visual cohesion. Then for a final decorative touch, I'll be adding this cute Lalayina girl carrying food. Next to this cute girl, I'll add a circle polka dot sticker. So as a memory keeping tip, small stickers or die cuts can add personality to your pages without taking up too much space. Using a deep red vintage Sarasa clip pen, I'll be writing about my day inside this notepad. So while visual elements are great, your personal thoughts and feelings are what truly makes the journal special.
And there we have it. Our midday memory keeping spread is complete. I hope this journal with me session has inspired you to document your own special days and self-care moments. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite way to practice self-care on a me day? Is it trying a new restaurant like I did? Curling up with a good book? Or maybe something completely different? Share your ideas in the comments below. Let's inspire each other to prioritize self-care. Remember, memory keeping is a personal journey. There's no right or wrong way to do it. The most important thing is that it brings you joy and helps you preserve your precious memories. If you enjoyed this video and want to dive deeper into the world of memory keeping and traveler's notebooks, I've curated two playlists that you might find helpful. Thank you so much for joining with me today. I can't wait to read about your me day ideas in the comments below. Until next time, happy journaling!